Hey, this is Vince at Discounting Board Marine. Today we're going to take and do some wet sanding and uh, we're going to use some of this 3M brand Perfect It gel coat cutting compound and wax. And we're going to use some 600 grit wet dry sandpaper. We've got our bucket of water, electric buffer, and we've got a soft rag and we're just going to put some of this on the gel coat you can see that it's pretty well oxidized and uh, we're gonna go over the whole boat but for this purpose we're just gonna do this one little section show you how it works we're gonna start by taking these at sections at a time this is an 84 Mastercraft Stars and Stripes so I'm gonna do two sections at a time also a rubber squeegee helps in this process so we're going to go ahead and wet sand this with 600 grit sandpaper it's pretty heavily oxidized so it's good to start a little aggressive with the 600 if the oxidation is real light you could go to 800 or even a thousand grit sandpaper and you'll have a lot less buffing to do So you can use your squeegee just to get an idea on how far you're going. You also want to be careful not to get into any decals, um, scratch them up. I'm going to go ahead and buff over these. These are old decals and I'm not real, uh, not real concerned about them. On a newer boat, you probably want to tape off those decals with a good uh, masking tape just to protect them from sanding and buffing. And we're going to take this a little further. You can see right here it's nice and smooth and there's no uh, ripples or anything whereas here you can still see there's some oxidation, some lines and so forth. So we're going to sand this a little bit more, get it looking like this and then we'll go ahead and hit it with the buffer. Okay, so so far we've been about 10 minutes or so wet sanding. You're going to be about an hour, hour and a half to do the whole side of the boat on this side. So uh, probably a total of two and a half, three hours. And uh, it's kind of a slow process, but we're going to go ahead and buff this out. Put some compound on the rake. And then we'll hit it with the buffer and see how it looks. Okay, so that was just once over with the buffer. We're going to go ahead and do it one more time. And as you can see, I took it lengthwise first with the buffer and then came back and crossways until the product was pretty much already gone and that's what buffs it up into a real nice shine so we'll do this one more time the cream color is not as badly oxidized as the blue is so that part of it will go a lot faster and when you're done you'll have a boat looks like new we're gonna give this one more round with the uh, with the compound You can see we've got a real nice shine back. It's real nice and smooth. We do recommend you come back after you're all finished and give it one more good coat of wax to seal everything off and give it a little more protection. Uh, you want to get it in the sun. Look for any small sand scratches. That would indicate you might want to give it one more coat with the compound. And uh, just be patient. Let the machine and the compound do the work for you. You don't have to push real hard. Um, and 
If you get into it, have any questions, just give us a call. 803-345-0996, extension 3, and we'll be happy to go over the process. When we get it all finished, we'll come back and take a look at it, see how it looks. Thank you.